are bloggers. We both have a vegan blog. Okay. We have a lot of subscribers and we basically promote products. We try it out, you know, and we basically do reviews on it. We let them know what's good and what's not. And they really go out and they buy it, they test it, they try it. So we would love to promote your product. If you could just give me a little bit more information as to how it all works. Uh, I'm familiar with, with this, but I've only seen this be used in smoothies. What else do the uh, Dulce Flakes, uh, what are they used for exactly? Or what can people use them for? People can use them in any way you like. My name's Serafina, by the way. Serafina. <laughs> nice to meet you, Serafina. This is my father, Shep. He started this oh. business nearly 40 years ago. Oh, wow. So it's family It's home. family. Oh, well, we are supporting your family. So <laughs> I used to say thank you for putting me through college. Oh, you know. <laughs> awesome. Um, I like to talk about whole seaweed in terms of any whole vegetable. Okay. Like, you don't go to the grocery store and ask the person who you're buying the kale from in the grocery store, how much kale do I eat? It, it's really a plant, and think about it as adding a different kind of vegetable to your diet. That being said, um, it's really great just right out of the bag. The dulce in particular, it's really soft and tender. That's what that is, yep. Here, there's just a few crumbs left in the bowl, but I pan roasted it in a little bit of oil and it gets really crunchy. Um, I'm a lifetime vegetarian, so I won't claim to say that it's a replacement for bacon, but the smoked delts in particular, which we also sell on our website and you can find in some stores, um, if you pan roast it in a little bit of oil, it gets very crunchy and you get that oily, cr crispy taste. Yeah, yeah. It's great in a sandwich. I make a DLT instead of a BLT. Look at that. I also put it in a... a Tofu, sort of ruined tofu, baked tofu, sauerkraut, and a dulce on rye bread. Probably my absolute favorite sandwich. I also will eat it by the bowl full that way. It's, it's a great like, snack. Yeah, it's like a healthy snack, exactly. And the labor, I did the same thing here. I dry roasted it. Um, and it's because it's a little chewy right out of the bag. But it's crunchy when you put it in an oven or in a cast iron skillet. And you can eat it just like a chip. And one of the things I like to remind people about seaweed is if you have repulsed there's maybe a reason for that start slow don't go crazy and eat the whole bag in one oh, sitting right um, <laughs> but if you, if you yeah don't force yourself it is good for you but if you like it and you feel like your body's craving it trust your body's instincts right definitely it's good i for agree you. with you yeah well thank you very much you're very welcome you know, sorry we got interrupted no but not at all <laughs> but you'll be sure to, to still see more of support coming from our way good you find our Facebook link and talk to us. Definitely. I want to see this. And uh, we'll def we're going to edit this and make it really nice and you'll see it. Fabulous. Okay.